Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are discussing about one major component in ECG that is T wave. You know that T wave occurs after the QRS complex. There is an SG segment. After SG segment, you get get T wave. T wave is produced by ventricular free wall polarization. So T wave is always upright. It's a dome shape. It is not very tall, not very short, not inverted. So T wave occurs after the QRS complex, after the SG segment, you get an upright T wave normally. Now some condition you get very tall T waves. Tall T wave definition is more than 10 small squares or 2 large squares. You can, you can tell it's a significant tall T waves. Whatever it is, you, if you are seeing very tall, unusual T waves in most of the leads, you have to suspect a very tall T waves. Very tall T waves in all the leads will give a clue for hyperkalemia. One of the major findings of hyperkalemia is very, very tall T waves. Suppose a patient who is having chronic renal failure come to emergency room with bradycardia and very tall T waves think about hyperkalemia. So tall T waves in most of the leads you have to think about hyperkalemia. So hyperkalemia is classically seen in renal failure. Hyperkalemia, this ECG you can see hyperkalemia ECG. Most of the leads you have very tall T waves and here QRS complex is wide. There is no P wave, the PR, P wave is there, PR interval may be prolonged. So wide QRS complex, very tall T waves is an indication for hyperkalemia. So you get universally tall T waves. So this ECG you can see very very tall T waves. T wave is taller than the QRS complex. It is very narrow and peaked. It is classically seen hyperkalemia. But remember, somebody is having chest pain. So acute chest pain, if you are taking an ECG, if you are seeing very tall T waves in V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, like this ECG, you have to suspect about an anti-reval MI, that is hyperacute anti-reval MI. So remember, universal T wave, very tall T waves, hyperkalemia. Some some area if you are getting tall T waves, you have to think about hyperacute MI. So in this ECG you can see tall T waves in V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. If the patient is having chest pain, strongly think about anterior wall hyperacute myocardial infarction. But in a normal person also you can get very tall T waves. This is a normal variant ECG. So patient is absolutely normal, no renal failure no chest pain but when we took an ECG you can see very tall T waves in V2, V3, V4, V5 or so when he suppose he is having chest pain you have to think about uh, hyperacute MI but no chest pain no renal failure in a thin individual individual if you are seeing very tall T waves suspect it's a normal variant there is no further investigation is required even if you want further investigation you can repeat another ECG after half an hour if there is no new changes in the ECG, this patient can be discharged. So normal variant also can produce very tall T waves. Now we will see what changes can uh, produce, can be produced by an ischemic condition. So you can here in this ECG you can see inverted T waves. So T wave inversions in lead 1, V5, V6, that uh, V5, V6, uh, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, all these uh, leads you can see T wave inver inversion. But look at the T waves, both the descending limb and ascending limb are equal. That is a sign of ischemia. So if the T waves are inverted and bo both the down going limb and up going limb of T wave is equal, then you have to suspect a ischemia. Very deeply inverted T waves may even indicate acute myocardial infarction. So this ECG shows T wave inversion V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. So think about anti revolt ischemia, myocardial ischemia. Remember LVH also will have almost similar finding, but look at the T wave inversion here. You can you are seeing T wave inversion in V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. All these leads you are getting T wave inversion, but look at the limbs of the T wave. The descending limb, that first limb of the T is shorter and the second limb of the T is la larger. So asymmetrical limbs of T wave indicates uh, something other than ischemic condition. Here it is left ventricular hypertrophy with ST depression T wave inversion. 
so lvh can lvh or rvh can produce uh, st depression and tvo inversion but the limbs of the tvo will be asymmetrical right ventricular hypertrophy same like lvh here also you can get st depression and tvo inversion you can see the limbs of the tvo it is asymmetrical descending and ascending limbs are asymmetrical so that can be seen in lvh and rvh now we'll see left bundle branch block there also you can get you can see v4 v5 v6 you can see wide wide qrs complex m pattern in uh, qrs complex then st depression then tvo inversion so tvo inversions are seen in v5 v6 in left bundle branch block now rbbb also can produce st depression and tvo inversion this ecg you can see r s r dash pattern in v1 v2 v3 and you can see in v1 and v2 there is st depression and tvo inversion so right bundle branch block also can produce st depression and tvo inversion then another syndrome where you get tvo inversion is something like rbvb that is called as brugada pattern if the patient is having sudden cardiac death or arrhythmias in the past then you can call it as brugada syndrome here you can see there is minimal st elevation v1 v2 v3 and there is st uh, tvo inversion following the st elevation so this is called as brugada syndrome uh, when there is an arrhythmia or ca sudden cardiac death you should call you can diagnose it as brugada syndrome or it is called as if there is no other previous history or family history of sudden death you can call it as brugada pattern so whatever it is there are different conditions which can produce uh, st depression and tvo inversion uh, you, some conditions you can get st elevation and tvo upright the classical condition where you get universal uh, tall tvo is hyperkalemia and in selected leads if you are getting tall tvos that is hyperacute mi and if you are getting tvo inversion both limbs are equal it is mostly due to an ischemic condition lvh rvh lbbb rbbb brugada syndrome all these conditions you can get st depression and tvo inversion thank you